Greetings, everyone, and welcome to episode 36 of Teaching Tales, the podcast totally devoted to sharing stories from the world of education. I am your host, Brent Coley, and typically, this is going to be a little different episode than normal. Typically, I have a guest on and we swap stories. We share stories that hopefully will encourage or inspire anyone listening. And today, my guest is nobody. I do not have a guest. The guest is, it's just me today. So sorry to disappoint you, but you just get me today. And the reason that I don't have a guest, this is just kind of an impromptu spur of the moment episode that I had to sit down and record because I had something amazing happen to me today that I wanted to share that story with everyone. I was sitting down working on a blog post and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a little kind of a bonus teaching tales episode and get this out there to hopefully share this story with anybody um, who could benefit from hearing it because something powerful happened to to me today. Simple, yet powerful. Uh, As I mentioned, I'm an elementary school principal in Southern California, and today we had a monthly event, Lunch with the Principal. Every month we have awards assemblies where teachers from each class uh, select students to honor their hard work, their achievements, their perseverance, their good character. And one of the awards is Lunch with the Principal. And students who receive that award, they have the opportunity to dine, like I like to tell them, they get to dine with me on gourmet Little Caesars pizza. Because to a six, seven, or eight year old, Little Caesars is gourmet. Or should I say, it's affordable at least. So today was the day. We had lunch with the principal. So before that happened, I I went out, we ordered the pizzas, I got in my car, went down, picked up the pizzas, came back. Our our assistant principal had helped set up the uh, paper plates and ice in the cups, and I had also picked up some soda. So I came back, we set it all up, and we called the kids out. So one by one, first grade, second grade, third grade, they started coming out, sitting down. We served them up cheese or pepperoni pizza, filled up their cups with drinks. And for the next 30, 35, 40 minutes or so, we just sat and uh, I watched them eat their pizza, chatted with them, encouraged them for their hard work, for their perseverance, and just thanked them for working hard. So a fun time, a very, very casual a very, very, very informal time. It's literally, we're sitting on the tables out in front of our library, um, just total casual, eating pizza on paper plates, chatting with the principal. So when it's done, uh, I dismiss all the students. They head on back to class. I thank them for their hard work. They head back. I start cleaning up. So I'm taking some of the extra pizza, plate, soda, back into our teacher's lounge, and one of our first grade teachers is sitting in there, and she says something that absolutely stops me in my tracks. She says, hey Brent, so-and-so, one of my students, and she said his name, one of my students was so excited to have lunch with you. He's been, he's been saying, is it today, is it today? Because our lunch with the principal was supposed to be last week, but because of the Southern, Cali- Southern California wildfires, Um, It was postponed until today. So she says, yeah, he's been so excited. He's been telling me, is today the day? Is today the day? He even got a haircut in preparation for lunch with the principal. And I'm I'm like, it's like the juice, the jukebox stops. And I said, wait, wait, what? He got a haircut for lunch with the principal? And she's like, yeah, pretty sure. And I said, it's I didn't even know what to say. And I said, Will you, will you ask him for me? And sure enough, when they got back to class, she texts me and says, yep, I double checked. I said, did you get your hair cut for lunch with the principal? And he said, yes, I did. And I was absolutely blown away because I was reminded in that moment that with all of the hustle and bustle, all of the busyness of my day-to-day responsibility and my calendar that is just so full, not to mention that I wasn't feeling well today, I was totally blown away by hearing this. I was blown away. I was totally humbled. And I was also a bit ashamed because it hit me right there. I realized that I had let the craziness of all that I had to do, I let the craziness turn lunch with the principal into 
an event, something that I kind of, I had to do. And I lost sight of what I was actually doing, which was the opportunity to sit down and connect with those kids. And I was reminded by the fact that this kiddo got a haircut. I mean, I'm thinking, in my mind, it's a simple event. Spending 50 bucks or so in pizza, sitting down. There's not a whole lot of prep. I just get to sit and talk, and I love it. It's one of my favorite days of the month because it's easy, it's casual, and it's a great way for me to connect with these kiddos. But I was blown away and reminded today that, Brent, in your mind, this might be a simple event. But in this student, in this particular student's mind, this is huge. He got a haircut (laughs) to prepare for the event. And in my mind, it was just a little simple thing. But in his mind, he got to eat with the principal. And it's weird for me to even say that because like I don't I don't view myself. I mean, I'm I'm the principal. But in the kids' minds, I was reminded I'm the principal. One of the other students who had who had received lunch with the principal today, he was sick. And as we were lining up, I saw him and I said, Hey buddy, you ready for lunch with the principal? And he's like, I'm sick. I'm going home. And I said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I said, I don't feel real well either. I might have to go home after lunch with the principal too. And he kind of, he had a downtrodden look and he kind of walked into the office. And I went back and a couple minutes later, his mom comes out with him and says, basically, he's not going home. He does not want to go home. He wants to tough it out and have lunch with the principal before he goes home. And again, I'm just like, my mind is blown because I'm thinking, it's, it's, it's just pizza. It's easier for me. It's easy for me to say, it's just pizza. But I was reminded, it's not just pizza. It was lunch with the principal. And in his mind, in that other student's mind, and in probably the majority of those students there, especially the younger ones, this was a big, big deal. And I just had to record this and get this out on a podcast because I think somebody out there needs to hear this because frankly, I needed to hear this today. This was a total wake up call. And the fact it hit me square between the eyes that when we get busy, we cannot let the busyness of what we have to do turn what we're doing into just an event on our calendar, but we need to stop and we need to recognize uh, the connection that we can make during something like this. So if you're a teacher, remember that it's the little things that are making the difference with your students. It might be that high five that you're getting them coming in. It might be complimenting them on, hey, did you get new shoes? I like those shoes because more than likely, especially if it's a younger kiddo, more than likely you make a comment like that, that student's going home and telling mom or dad, hey, my teacher said she liked my shoes. He noticed my new haircut or whatever it is. It's the little things. And if you're an administrator, if you're an assistant principal or you're a principal, please, (laughs) I would hope that you hear this and that you are reminded, guys, gals, you are making a huge difference with your students. I know I've we've had episodes like this before of Teaching Tales where we've talked about how we oftentimes underestimate our influence. Hopefully, because it reminded me today, please listen to this story and remember, a kid got a haircut so he could sit down and eat pizza with me. Another student was sick but refused to go home until he'd been able to sit down and have pizza with me sobering, humbling, and again, made me a bit ashamed because it was a wake-up call. Brent, focus on what's important. Forget all the other things you have to do. When you've got an opportunity, if you're listening to this, if you've got an opportunity to sit down and connect with students, put everything on hold, turn your phone off, turn your email off, totally focus on those kiddos, because like the instant instance that I had today, 
it is making a bigger deal in the lives of these students than we realize. So that's me. It was just me as a guest. Thank you for listening. Hopefully anyone listening to this got something out of it. Um, Because I know I got something out of it. And it was therapeutic for me even to record this. So thank you for listening. I totally appreciate it. And if you're listening, you obviously found it either on iTunes, Google Play, or on my website at brentcoley.com slash podcast. And if you haven't already done so, as we say before, be sure to subscribe because that way you don't have to be checking. It'll automatically come to your phone or your computer or iTunes or whatever. And as always, if you like what you hear, I'd appreciate it. Drop a review, uh, give us a like, something like that, because again, that helps get the word out for the podcast so others can uh, hopefully be encouraged and inspired by it. Once again, if you're an educator, You're doing amazing work. That's the whole purpose of this episode. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't forget, you are making a difference. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.